Welcome everyone to a Khan Academy tutorial. Today we are doing trigonometric ratios in right triangles. Trigonometry needs to be done in right triangles. And let's go ahead and talk about this a little bit further. So there's our right angle. We know this is a right triangle. And we're asked to find the tangent of B. So what does that mean? Well, trigonometric ratios are simply comparing different sides uh, in a triangle, in a right triangle. So the first one's sine, and it's abbreviated S-I-N, and this is equal to an opposite side divided by a hypotenuse. So let me rewind a second, and first let's talk about the parts of a triangle. So the number one thing we need is we need to identify the reference angle. So this is our reference angle because it's mentioned in the problem. So this is our reference angle, okay? now. The sides, the labels of the sides change depending on where your reference angle is. For example, our reference angle is here in this corner, B. So that makes this our hypotenuse. And even if it wasn't there, our hypotenuse is always going to be here. It's always going to be opposite the 90 degree angle. So there's our hypotenuse. Now the parts that change, depending on where your reference angle is, uh, are the opposite side. So our opposite side is here opposite the reference angle. So opposite the reference angle is the opposite side. And touching the reference angle is the adjacent side. So this is our adjacent side right here. The adjacent side and the hypotenuse always form the angle. So there we have our adjacent side, our opposite side, and our hypotenuse. Okay, one thing you never do is you never label the triangle based on this as your reference angle, the 90 degree angles, because the opposite side would be the same as the hypotenuse. Okay, that being said, we know our opposite side, okay, over our hypotenuse, that is the definition of sine. So opposite over hypotenuse. Now our adjacent side is used in cosine. So cosine, abbreviated COS, is equal to our adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. So this is our adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. And then we have our tangent, T-A-N, that's what this problem is, tangent, abbreviated T-A-N, is our uh, opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So our adjacent side is being divided by the opposite side, uh, green. Okay, so now we have a ratios, let's talk about this one. So we have tangent of B, okay, here's a reference angle. We know their opposite side, okay, tangent of B is opposite over adjacent. I abbreviate it like that. So then we have tangent of B is equal to five, the opposite side, over the adjacent side, eight. Just to clarify, this is our opposite side, five, this is our adjacent side, eight, and oh, not eight, sorry, it's 12. You're probably confused there, me too. Five over 12, and that is what it is equal to. So we're looking for five over 12, there it is. Check it, and there we go. Next question. All right, here we're looking for cosine. So a way to remember all of these, if you're having trouble, is SOKATOA. You may have heard your teacher mention it. This just means opposite over hypotenuse for sine. Okay, so for sine, it's opposite over hypotenuse. Then we have cosine, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. A, H, adjacent over hypotenuse. That's for cosine. And then for tangent, we have uh, opposite O over adjacent A. So that's just a way to remember. So this one's asking for cosine of A. So first things first, always find your reference angle. Here it is. A is my reference, that makes it disappear. A is my reference angle. Okay, now we need to label. So one, reference angle. Two, label. Three is the ratio. So we're on the label phase. So we need to label our opposite side here, seven. Adjacent, 24. Hypotenuse is always opposite the 90 degree. There's our hypotenuse. Now we're looking for cosine. So cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, the cosine of alpha. So the cosine of alpha is equal to adjacent 24 over our hypotenuse, which is 25. So 24 over 25 is gonna be our final answer, letter D. Next question, two more. Sine of alpha, okay? Identify 
uh, our reference angle here. Ooh, that one was super dark. Here it is, A is our reference angle. So let's lab label everything in terms of that. Hypotenuse is always opposite 90. Here's our opposite side not touching the angle and then adjacent side touches the angle. We're looking for sine. So sine is opposite the sine of a, an angle. That just means theta, an angle, over hypotenuse. This time we know what the angle is. It's alpha equals the opposite side, 12 over the hypotenuse, 37. So we're looking for the answer, 12 over 37. Now, if we can reduce it, we can. We'll reduce it, but in this case, we can't. All right, last one, tangent. Tangent, we know, tangent of any angle is opposite over adjacent. So we're gonna first find our reference angle, that's here, A, and we're gonna label the, the sides accordingly. Here's hypotenuse, here's the opposite side, and we don't even need it for this one because it's tangent. Oh, we do need it. Never mind. We didn't need the hypotenuse. So tangent of alpha is going to be equal to our adjacent side. Sorry, our opposite side, 35, over our adjacent side, 12. So 35 over 12 is our final answer there. Letter C. And we're good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you need more trigonometry uh, Khan Academies or problems done, leave a comment and I'll help you out with it. Otherwise, thanks for watching. See you next time.